Hello guys, my name is your host and not dead, Haley Candy. And welcome guys to the first ever <laughs> first ever furry hunger games. And today's guys, this is not actually showing a hate towards the furry community. I actually love and adore all of these people that are attending somewhat attending that I chose for my subscription box and put them in here but yeah all of these people I love 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 I do not hate them but I will credit them because you know if I'm supposedly if I'm using all of these furries I gotta credit their YouTube channels or whatever socials they have you know what that's why I love them and I don't hate them I have nothing against them. Like, what should I gain to, you know... I, I don't know if I make sense at all, but, you know... But all of you guys know, these... All of... You might recognize all of them. Because you do! Because all of these guys have one thing in common. And that is being a poppy fur. I don't know why. <laughs> because, I don't know, whenever I was, like, editing this stuff up... It was so hard to find the exact images that I wanted to have, but, you know, things just went downside I would I was so frustrated. And anyways, guys, before we announce this, um, this type of hungry and shit, um, basically, if you guys have not watched, um, PewDiePie's video on this type of hunger games, which was basically a story narrative adventure RPG in a way and that's this is what it kind of is it's not it's basically a Hunger Games simulator where it's not actually going to show like oh furries killing other furries like they're not actually going to show that but they're going to show it like very descriptively in a way like they're going to tell like how was it how other furries got killed not like showing the actual visualization i guess you pretty much got what i'm saying but you know because this is what i'm trying to make a point guys a lot of furries are trying to say that oh killing is bad in the furry community is like i don't give a, f a damn like what by what what i mean guys just stay with me because i had this conversation literally like last week with my friend sheppy and they we had literally a conversation because oh yeah we had like other games from the fur community such as visual novels or visual novels and that's basically it and from what i've heard from sheppy because peep other furries in the furry community got literally offended when they when people mention like oh we don't want to we don't want to play video games that are involved furries because we get shot and killed and oh my god killing furries are offensive in games like i don't see how that is offensive because i and they said like oh you're not a furry if <laughs> if we think that differently than us like yeah we think differently but it doesn't mean we are furries because we are furries because I don't know. I don't really have much of an opinion on that one, but you know. It's called being suck it up. <laughs> it's like, no offense, guys. Like, I really. I am. I am much different than all of you combined. I'm not saying I'm better, but you know, I have a different perspective on how I see this. Because, as a way, like, I do want to see furries expand on different things better than fucking dating simulators fucking um visual novels i want to step off from that because yeah it is nice that if that the furry community is being re represented in games but what about i want to see like rpgs fps games like all of that because you should not get offended if you literally play a game where you kill humans other humans how is that different from killing furries other furries? It's like, how is that different? It's like, would that affect me? No, because I pretty much used to seeing people get shot and <laughs> people getting shot, cut up in video, in video games because it doesn't faze me at all. But I do understand it is offensive in a way, but... Uh, 
and you will see like a lot of offensive shit that's gonna happen in video games and as much as of as much of other people that are furries that might be furries that are creating games like don't be afraid to show to show what you got because a lot of people receive a lot of criticism in other games like for example um in the call of duty series like i think in the newest ones um they don't featured hmm. they don't i don't know it's like i forgot there's like a lot of offensive things i was involved in the quality quality community and such oh yeah <clears throat> but yeah i think you guys pretty much got my idea what i'm saying right because wow well, i've been saying this for stuff for five minutes <laughs> Okay, I gotta link that one, so, uh, yeah. But yeah, guys, but seriously, you got my idea, like, how I perceive furries in video games, because it's not offensive to me, it's just I'm just used to it, like, I want to see furries expand from all what I said. It's not being offensive, it's called, how do I say this, transitioning? I don't know. You guys know what I'm trying to say, you know. Anyways, guys, back to the game. The bloodbath. As the tributes stand on the podiums, the horn sounds. Kinara runs away from the Konokopia. Do kills Crown with his own weapon. A thing from space grabs a backpack, not realizing it is empty. Atsu runs away from the Konokopia. Oh, are they running? Elo runs away from the Konokopia. Dashing runs away from the Konokopia. Rex runs away from the Konokopia. Abigene runs into the cornucopia and hides. Cosmic snatches a pair of sass. Blue runs away from the cornucopia. Dojo takes a spear from the inside of the cornucopia. Clay takes a handful of throwing knives. Granite and Kajani fight for a bag. Kajani gives up and retreats. Hatsuki finds a bag full of explosives. Dustin runs away from the cornucopia. Ace finds a bow with some arrows and a quiver. Hugh finds, some, finds a bow, some arrows, and a quiver. Grumpy retreats a trident, oh, retrieves a trident inside the cornucopia. Cut the ritual runs away from the cornucopia. Zachary runs away with the lighter and some rope. <laughs> G runs away from the cornucopia. Bayer runs away from the cornucopia. Cleo runs away from the cornucopia. Telephone grabs a sword. Fjord attacks Kingsley, but a parry protects her, killing Fjord. Cabot runs away from the cornucopia. Foxy finds a canteen full of water. Dash runs away from the cornucopia. Booth scares Artemis away from the cornucopia. Laughing runs away from the cornucopia. Dismay clutches a first aid kit and runs away. Kings run runs away from the cornucopia. Beta rips a mace out of Husky's hands. Blue runs away from the cornucopia. Keys runs away from the cornucopia. Kitawana runs away from the Konokopia. Cooper runs away from the Konokopia. Caffeine runs away from the Konokopia. Blaze runs away from the Konokopia. Differently runs away from the Konokopia. Hotthorn Fox grabs a backpack not realizing it is empty. Dance runs away from the Konokopia. Day 1. Grumpy discovers a river. Husky searches for firewood. Cleo scares Drew off. Dojo sees a smoke rising in the distance, but decides not to go. Bio hunts for other tributes. Foxy is unable to convince Dashing not to kill him. Des Dustin explores the arena. Abedrin goes hunting. King scares of Hawthorne Fox off. Dan injures himself. A searches for a water source. Blue fishes. Cooper thinks about home. <laughs> I don't know why. A thing from space receives a medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Rex receives a explosive from an unknown sponsor. Blaze question his sanity. Booth diverts Kinora's attention and runs away. Hyu is unable to convince Caffeine not to kill him. Artemis practices archery. Laffin searches for a water source. Kingsley sprains her ankle while running away from a parry. Blue discovers a river. 
Korthurk's telephone keys and Hatsuki raid Cosmic's camp while he is hunting. Cabot surges for water source. Dismay discovers a river. Clay's in a love hunt for the tributes. Kijani makes a slingshot. Hatsuki stalks Zachary. Granite runs away from Dash. Beta, differently, G, and Kitwana hunt for other tributes. Four cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Night 1. Caffeine and Kingsley sleeps in shifts. Husky thinks about home. A think from space and Kinara hold hands. Rex receives, a, receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Dash attempts to climb a tree but falls to his death. Oh my god. G receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Booth and Cabot run into each other and decide to choose for the night. Atsu friends do. Korthrix and telephone away from the fire. Dustin and Keys talk about the tribute still alive. Dismay and differently huddle for warmth. Blue cries himself to sleep. <laughs> well, how old is Blue? I'm sorry. <laughs> Cosmic screams for help. Why would you? Why would you be screaming for help? You're in the Hunger Games. It's it's called every, everyone to himself. But well, unless you're screaming for your teammates, I guess it's okay. Blaze throws a knife at into Dead's head. Pan's head. Hearthstone Fox sees a fire, but stays hidden. Artemis receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Hatsuki sees a fire, but stays hidden. Beta quietly hums. Zachary, King, and Kidwana and Clay tell each other ghost stories to lighten the mood. Blue and Aberdeen went into each other and decided to choose for the night. Dojo quietly hums. Bro Bio throws a knife into Laffin's head. Apery receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Kijani receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Granite receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Ace loses sight of where he is. Cooper fends a loaf, Cleo, and dashing away from this fire. Grumpies go to sleep. Day 2. Cooper dies from thirst. <laughs> okay, that's, that's, that's a start. Abedrin constructs a shack. Keys and Dojo hunt for other tributes. Elof, Kingsley, a thing from space, and Blaze hunt for other tributes. Kinora strangles Dismay with a rope. Cleo steals from Granite while he isn't looking. Do makes a slingshot. Blue and Hatsuki hunt for other tributes. Dashing discovers a cave. Grumpy repeatedly stabs Artemis to death with his sass. Booth severely injures Kijin Kijani, but puts him out of his misery. <laughs> oh my god. Husky, Kotherix, and Dustin hunt for other tributes. G tends to differently's runes. Apari makes a wooden spear. Beta, Kidwana, Ace, Cosmic, and King hunt for other tributes. Oh my god, they formed an alliance. Atsu bleeds out due to untreated injuries. Hotthone Fox runs away from the from caffeine. Blue and Zachary split up to search for resources. Bio runs away from Rex. Cabot discovers a river. Clay searches for firewood. Telephone collects fruit from a tree. Fallen tributes too. Eight cannon shots can be heard in the, in the distance. Night 2. Rex receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Blaze poisons Dustin's drink. He drinks it and dies. Clay sees a fire but stays hidden. Cabot cooks her food before putting her fire out. A thing from space receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. 
Granite severely slices Abedrine with the sword. Blue friends Ace caffeine and keys away from his fire. Do Telephone and Dojo discuss the games and what might happen in the morning. Kid Wana starts a fire. Bio and Booth sleeps and shifts. Cosmic loses sight of where he is. Cleo goes goes to sleep. Apari loses sight of where he is. Elof is awoken by nightmares. Differently sees a fire but stays hidden. Kinori attacks Grumpy but dashing protects him, killing Kinora. Blue quietly hums. G loses sight of where he is. Zachary receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Hearthstone Fox cooks his food before putting his fire out. Kingsley sets an explosive off, killing Hatsuki, Husky, and Beta. Oh my god. <laughs> receives hat- a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. King questions his sanity. I would do too, King. Day 3. Granite, Cleo, a thing from space, and Cosmic track down and kill Cortherex. Clace cannot handle the circumstances and commit suicide. <laughs> Arbury, Ace, Zachary, and Hearthstone Fox raid Caffeine's camp while he is hunting. Bio receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Telephone thinks about home. Dashing thinks about home. Kingsley strangles Grumpy with a rope. Cabot diverts differently's attention and runs away. Blue travels to a higher ground. King scares off Kitwana off. Ilof receives clean water from the unknown sponsor. Rex injures himself. Blue makes a slingshot. Du begs for Dojo to kill her. He refuses, keeping Du alive. Booth defeats Keys in a fight, but spares his life. G goes hunting. Blaze collects fruit from a tree. Arena event. Carnivorous squirrels start attacking the tributes. Keys, in agony, kills Kingsley so she does not to have been attacked by the squirrels. Dojo tries to kill as many squirrels as he can, but there are too many. Blue survives. Blaze tries to kill as many squirrels as he can, but there are too many. Zachary survives. G survives. Caffeine survives. Ilof uses the squirrels to his advantage, shoving Booth into them. A thing from space survives. Kitwana survives. Apari is brutally attacked by his scurry of squirrels. Granite survives. Rex is brutally attacked by a scurry of squirrels. Cosmic survives. Telephone survives. Blue uses the squirrels to his, his advantage, shoving Bio into them. Cleo survives. Dasting tries to kill as many squirrels as he can, but there are too many. Hathorn Fox survives. The squirrels separate and kill Du and King. Differently survives. Cabot tries to kill as many squirrels as she can, but there are too many. Night 3. Cleo sets up camp for the night. Blue, Cosmic Ace, Hearthstone Fox, and Kitwana sleeps and shifts. Keys cries himself to sleep. Granite kills Ilof with his own weapon. G and Blue huddle for warmth. A thing from space passes out from exhaustion. Zachary and Telephone hold hands. Caffeine is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. Differently sees a fire but stays hidden. The Feast The cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the tribute families. Keys stuff a bundles of dry clothing into a backpack before sprinting away. Telephone decides not to go to the feast. Zachary bleeds out due to untreated injuries. 
A thing from space decides not to go to the feast. Caffeine decides not to go to the feast. Different least decides not to go to the feast. Cosmic decides not to go to the feast. Blue decides not to go to the feast. Kidwani decides not to go to the feast. Blue decides not to go to the feast. East decides not to go to the feast. Cleo decides not to go to the feast. Hearthstone decides not to go to the feast. G cannot handle the circumstances and commits suicide. <laughs> Granite decides not to go to the feast. Day 4. Differently goes hunting. Cleo stalks Blue. Kituana steals from Hearthstone Fox while he isn't looking. Key sees smoke rising in the distance, but decides not to investigate. Cosmic tries to spear fish with Trident. Granite hunts for the tributes. Blue defeats Ace in a fight, but spares his life. A thing from space tries to spear fish with the Trident. Telephone receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Caffeine receives a clean water from an unknown sponsor. Night 4. Cleo defeats Ace in a fight, but spares his life. Cosmic tends to Blue's wounds. Kit, Wana, and Keys talk about the tree which still alive. Blue and Granite hold hands. <laughs> Telephone thinks about home. Differently and Hearthstone Fox hold hands. A thing from space receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Caffeine climbs a tree to rest. Day 5. Blue picks flowers. Blue and Granite hunt for other tributes. Telephone constructs a shack. Kit wanna questions his sanity. Ace tends to his tends to Key's wounds. Hawthorne Fox steals from a from a thing from space while she isn't looking. Caffeine collects fruit from a tree. Cosmic begs for Cleo to kill him. She refuses, keeping Cosmic alive. Differently receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Night 5. Keys start a fire. Telephone destroys cosmic supplies while he is asleep. Kitwana looks at the night sky. Differently poisons Blue's drink. He drinks it and dies. Ace tends to his wounds. Hearthstone Fox receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Cleo stabs Blue with the tree branch. Caffeine is evoked by nightmares. Granite tends to a thing of space's runes. Day 6. A thing from space steals from caffeine while he isn't looking. Telephone fishes. Keys hunts for other tributes. Hathorn Fox receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Granite chases Cosmic. Kitawana hunts for other tributes. Differently receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Ace receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Cleo fishes. Night 6. Telephone attempts to start a fire but is unaccept unsuccessful. Cleo fends Caffeine, Ace, and Hearthstone Fox away from her fire. Differently sends up camp for the night. Cosmic and Granite hold hands. A thing from space loses sight of where she is. Kitwana is awoken by nightmares. Keys dies from hyperthermia. <laughs> oh my god, that's a new one. That is a, that is a new one. That just, oh my. Day 7. Caffeine throws a knife into Differently's chest. Kitwana injures himself. Hearthstone Fox defeats Granite in a fight but spares his life. Telephone discovers a river. A thing from space discovers a cave. Cleo hunts for the tributes. Ace scares off Cosmic off. Night 7. Granite is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. Kidwana attempts to start a fire but is unsuccessful. Ace defeats Cleo in a fight but spares her life. Telephone receives a clean water from an unknown sponsor. Cosmic 
a thing from space and Crackdown Fox starts fighting, but a thing from space runs away as Cosmic kills Hearthdown Fox. Caffeine thinks about winning. Thinks about winning! What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Day 8. Cosmic silently snaps Cleo's neck. Oh my god. <laughs> Granite and Kitawana splits up to search for resources. Ace tries to spear a fish with a trident. Caffeine stabs a thing from space in the back with a trident. Telephone dies from hyperthermia. Damn. Night 8. I'm trying not to sneeze because I, I was sneezing a lot earlier. Cosmic attempts to climb a tree, but falls on caffeine, killing them both. Oh god. That's a double kill right there. Ace, Kit Kitwana tell stories about themselves to each other. Granite lose sight of where he is. Day 9. Kitwana throws a knife into Granite's chest. Ace falls into a frozen lake and drowns. The winner. The winner is Kitwana from District 11. Congratulations, you won the Furry Hunger Days. Yay! Proceed. Well, anyways, guys, I'm guessing this is ending to a close right now, so... I hope you guys will oh, what you guys think of this Hunger Games finesse, and honestly, I had the most fun of, like, putting all of these, all of these YouTubers into one category into one district in each district and it was quite fun and yeah and I hope you guys also had a, a joy out of this while watching your other youtubers or die <laughs> killing each other I don't know I don't know I was I was I was ah, it's all over the place my mind is like bleh but anyways guys, I am certainly we're gonna have another Hunger Games soon. But right anyway guys, I'm gonna set up a poll for Kitwana. If you wanna see him again again, the winner is Kitwana. If you do wanna see him again, uh, all you gotta do is go to the poll. I'll set this up for on Twitter. I think Tumblr has a poll. Furry Amino and on my, of course, my video so you guys can vote if you want to see him come back and face again the horrors of the Hunger Games. Okay. So he was in District 11, so. Anyways, guys, I'm, I'll be posting all of the results at the end so, so you guys can see what happened. And as guys, if you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave me a like, a comment, and a share. Because I did I did a very good laugh with it. And yeah. And also guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. My name is Haley Candy, and I hope to one day I'll join the Hunger Games. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Don't, also guys, don't forget to hit that notification bell whenever a video comes out next. And... That's pretty much it, and happy home games. May the odds be ever in your favor.
specific.